I visited the crimson forest in the back rooms and boy did I regret it. I recommend you don't come if you want to survive, but I will show you how to get here and what awaits in the darkness. I went through the dark hallways in the first level and killed every hound that was in my way. I followed the arrows and took a left at the bullseye. There was a lot of hounds so I just paralyzed them in order to save my bullets. At the end was a green door and a vine covering it. I thought this would be easy since I was prepared, but I was wrong. Even though it was dangerous here, following the path is safer. Once you travel outside it, then you'll be in danger. I had to make sure that I got plenty of food, ammunition, and batteries because last time I lost everything. There are cabins scattered along the path. Sometimes there are supplies, but it's mostly empty and there are beds in the attic where survivors took shelter. I wonder what happened to them. Whatever it was, I did not want to come across it. I continued my journey and found an entity nearby. I didn't want it to clap my cheeks when I am not looking, so I killed it. This butterfly was not getting its white sticky webs on me this time. Along the way, I found a statue of the fallen and explored its body. I looked around for witnesses. I found this evil bird that was quick. I always respected wildlife, but not today. And this evil bear came out of nowhere and I was scared for my life. This giant grizzly bear ate all of my bullets like it was Skittles. I ran out of bullets and had to escape. This bear wanted to avenge the bird and wouldn't stop chasing me. I finally found a cabin and hid until the bear left. There was someone there, just staring into my soul. It was creepy so I left. I found this camp that had wounded people and soldiers. There was a park ranger which made me believe that the woods used to be normal. It's possible that this whole area, including its inhabitants, was snow clipped into the back rooms. They all looked like they were going to give up, so I left. Kill me, please. I found some mushrooms outside the path and ate some. Everything started to look weird. I heard something in the distance. I looked around and couldn't find it. It was getting closer and I was starting to panic. My sanity meter was going down fast, so I ran. I tried shooting it with the bullets I found at the camp, but it wasn't enough. Normally I'm the predator, but today I was the prey. I finally found a cabin to hide from the beast, but it wasn't enough. There was no water here. I was coming close to my death by insanity. I had only one choice and that was to lower the beast to the cabin and kill it. It was a dog. The man's best friend was now a bloodthirsty hound. I had to put it down. It was either it or me, so don't come after me, PETA. Don't you dare say this dog didn't deserve it. I mean, look at it. That's not Mr. Fluffy anymore. It was finally over and I talked to the strange man. He said I needed to give him four meats to escape. But little did he know I just had to exit the game and go to a different level. Sadly, I didn't have almond water. There's a lesson to learn here. If you see an animal next time, shoot it. 